art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as on earth, as it is in heaven. Forgive us this day our daily bread. Forgive us and forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The lads were quick to get to work. How was your trip up today? Ah, oh, hello, Porter. Very good. We suffered a slight delay near Ellsbridge, but apart from that, it's been smooth running. How's your day been? Been very well. Load some luggage, prepare each train, man the newspaper stand. Pretty simple. Good to hear. Oh, and how's your video website doing? My driver said he liked it. Thank you. It's fun. Sometimes it's a top ten, or just some footage I recorded from the forest. That's neat. You could make a career out of that given enough time. Nah, it's just a hobby. Now go get turned around. Okay then, I'm off. <laughs> ah, a tomato? Heh <laughs> nerd. Fred again, dear? How do you guess? Tomatoes are on Tuesday. <sighs> Turn the other cheek. That should do it. Hey, nerd. Hey, Fred. Uh, what are you doing here? Jezbel told me you were going to make one of them videos. So? Well, these are dangerous woods. You might need protection. Protection? Yes, and I can provide for a fee, of course. And yeah, I think I'm good, man. You may want to reconsider. Why? Like I said, there's dangerous people out here.
Oh, well, Bill. The usual? Yes. Long paint. How much porter? Caesar cam. Um, yes. How'd you find it? We were shunting this morning. I found it near the truck. There weren't any trucks when I put it there. I think there was a truck that rode away from the yard. Thomas had to take a cold train this morning. That might be an interesting recording. Feel free, Porter. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, good. Lunchtime. Hey, Porter. Hey, Jez. So, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing fine. How about you? Alright. Fred ran off during our date. I think we're through. Oh. Sorry to hear that. He left me to go do something in the forest. I haven't seen him since. He's probably hanging out with his buddies near the river. That sounds about right. Hey, if you ever want to get out of here, there's a nice meadow in the woods. Thanks, Jez. Maybe later. But I'm on the clock right now. Remember what Station Master Bailey says? A really useful railway equals my happiness and your employment. Alright, Mr. Tight Schedule. And free when you are. Get me away from it! Calm down. I'll stick you here. Whoa. Uncanny Valley. Well, back to work. Come along. Hey, weakling. If you can't handle me, then what can you handle? Oh, I wish Toby were here to handle you. Thomas, what happened? I was trying to move that truck when the coupling snapped. Oh, great. Not again. Is there anything I can do to help? Just coming tomorrow like normal. You cannot do anything here. And you! What? What do you have to say for yourself? I break slept on. Wasn't my fault. Hogwash. I saw the crew unpin the brakes. Well then, how were they on? It better not happen again. Oh, it's late. I'll have to view this tomorrow.
Thanks for the paper, Porter. No problem, Will. Yeah, hello, Porter. How's the website doing? Uh, very well, Father Lewis. You here for your morning paper? Partially, yes. I have to attend a wedding ceremony at Ulfstead Castle on Sunday. I need to take a train for the rehearsal today. Congratulations, but who will take care of the Sunday service? Everyone is going to the wedding, so I think it will be there if it comes to it. By the way, have you seen Fred? Not since Thursday. Why? Because no one else has seen him since either. He'll probably be in tomorrow's paper. Oh, well, last I saw him, it was in the woods. Jezbel said he went there too. Really? That's not what she told me. That's my cue. Try and make it on Sunday. Hey, Porter. Where are you going? Yeah, I'm heading home. Sounds boring. How about we go somewhere? Uh, I kind of have to. I'm going to a wedding tomorrow. So, you could skip it. I wish I could. Mrs. Kindly's daughter's getting married. Father Lewis was able to convince Sir Normby to let them have the ceremony at Fort Ulfstead. Why is this fort so important? Yeah, it was a medieval castle that was turned into a military base during the World Wars. Now it's run by the Earl of Sodor as a military museum. I honestly would come with you, but I have to be up early tomorrow for the train. Fine, Porter, but I'll get you next time. Eh, <laughs> we'll see. Oh, I almost forgot to look at the recording. Wait, I didn't see a truck roll up. What's wrong, Fred? Everyone got away. Well, I know what will get your mind off of it. Oh, yeah? What? How do you feel, Fred? Sure up, so. Just like the others. Keep coming. Keep coming. Stop. Wait. Is that a... Why, thank you all so much for coming. In honor of today's union, please enjoy free access to all of the museum exhibits. You might want to use a cross. Just keep praying and things will turn out alright. Hey, excuse me, Father Lewis. May I have a moment of your time? Uh, of course, Porter. What troubles you? Well, you see, there's this girl who's been trying to ask me to go with her into the woods, and I thought it was because she, she wanted to go on a date with me or something. But, uh, I... And it... J just look at these photos. My goodness! Wilbert, come look at these! Where did you get these? Uh, I recorded it near Farquhar. Have you shown these to anyone else? No, but a woman has been trying to get me to go with her into the woods. Alright, listen carefully. If she asks again, say no. If that doesn't get her to leave you alone, call this number. It will send some of my associates to help you. Under no circumstances, tell anyone. 
she may not be the only one. Thank you, Mr... You may call me Reverend. May God watch over you. Hey, Porter. Oh, no. Guess what time it is. No, oh, um, what time? It's time for our date in the woods. Yeah, I'm sorry, Jez. I, I, I cannot do that. Why not? Uh, well, uh, I found out I'm very allergic to some of the moss and pollen in the woods. Didn't seem to bother you before. You don't see me that often. Why don't I come in and we watch a movie or maybe have dinner? Sorry, Jez, but I have early shift tomorrow. Oh, but I insist. Uh, sorry, Jez. I must say no. Yeah, good night. Good night, Porter. Sleep tight. at this hour. <gasps> Scarloid Lake Reserves, how may we help you? Hello, I think someone's stalking me. Please direct domestic calls to your local police services. But I was told to call this number if this happened again. By who? Uh, the Reverend. Please hold. Okay. We're sending someone to assist you. Please wait 15 minutes. The code word is vigilant. Arm yourself and remain hidden. Wellness check. Must stay vigilant for emergencies. Yes. Porter Percival? Yes. Come with me. It isn't safe here. It, is, is it just you? Yes. But I'm taking you to the mountains. It's safe there. I'd say. Keep driving. Watch out! Oh no. Alright, get out. We need to cross this river. And this wind and rain? That's suicidal. Wicked and painless compared to what that siren has planned for you. Are 
do for us or our enemy. I am Fanaida. However, you have shown righteous. Come forward and off the bridge. You heard him. Get a move on. What is that engine? That was just Proteus. Truth be told, we don't entirely know. But most of us assume he's some sort of an angel. And hallelujah. Well, there's our ride. Eventful evening. You said it, boss. Are you all right, Porter? Yes, I'm fine. Just lots of questions. Don't worry. I have answers for some, but others are better left unanswered. Sorry to interrupt, but may we please get back to Scarlowy and out of this rain? Of course, Caroline. We don't want to stay out here any longer than we have to. Because as you can see, evil tends to hide where little can see it.